Hi, Fernando. Hello, everybody. Do you hear me? Yes. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, I hope. You and very nice to see. Also, I was talking the previous talk that someone brought up Russian literature, and it's nice to see a historian now, somebody that was a historian oh, yeah. in the past, to also talk because I like this intersection of human and and programming, like, and not just staying in the code side. So it's nice to see people bringing that up too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, it's a, it's a I, well, story, have so. a nice. Uh, this is the thing. Uh, we'll be talking about uh, how to resurrect the ancient robbers. Uh, because the, there is this uh, necessity to, to use network the uh, network equ equipment, but those equipments they may be they 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 are they're quite quite expensive, and if you're trying to make gambiarras on them, that's quite, quite that can be quite a problem. So this is uh, a little about me. Uh, I, I don't see the, the slides moving. Right. So the this is my personal this is my uh, there's a, there is a delay right so this is my personal site my uh, links to my uh, to my social networks uh, pg for for encrypted email uh, this uh, this uh, the slides and the, the videos that I'll be showing here they are uh, available on the this this repository on Codeberg, at codeberg those about OpenWRT, I haven't uploaded yet because I haven't been able to uh, to clean up my personal information because they're attached to, to devices. So the topics, we'll be talking about a little bit about what are ancient routers, why they're, they're still important. And we'll be talking about ISPs, uh, Internet Service Providers, and General Purpose Computing. We'll be seeing an overview of uh, OpenWRT, uh, the system installation and, and a little bit about breaking prevention. How to use the image builder of OpenWRT to customize the firmwares, and how to and, and some use cases such as mesh points, uh, some enhancements to Lucy, the web interface. How to make U, uh, USB extension to to use the storage for both uh, sharing network storage and to use a system. And uh, and, all, and finally, ad blocking. Then conclusion and questions and answers. So this is all about Gambiarras. So it's about so this is mostly for educational and academic purposes. Uh, this is not intended to to be run on production software. We'll uh, we'll take no responsibility if something goes wrong there. So about the routers on on themselves, what can uh, define the, the 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 if it's ancient or not? It's the basic, basically the, 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 their age and their hardware specifications. So if you have a single core CPU that's uh, below uh, 500, mega, 500 gigahertz, megahertz, that's a, a router that's a poor choice nowadays to, to be using for, for production. Also, these routers normally they have four to eight megabytes of flash storage. That's a problem because you simply can't fit the system quite well in there. They have 32 to 64 megabytes of RAM. Uh, if you have a device that's four uh, of storage and 32 of RAM, you can still run some, you can still do some cool stuff in, in there. But uh, less than that, it's practically impossible to be doing something. And uh, eight, eight megabytes and 40, 64 megabytes of, of RAM. That's uh, borderline. Uh, the, the newer versions of OpenWRT and other systems will work, but it, it's uh, it it might be unstable. It might have it might be prone to crashes and all that. So these devices, even though they're still functional, they are abandoned by the vendors because they are they are receiving no they are no longer receiving uh, official firmware updates because so the kernel uh, the kernel Linux is uh, quite. Gay. The old uh, the drop bear inter the program, uh, it's dated. It has uh, known bugs, and that's uh, that's quite a problem. So that's when it comes uh, communities of users who can build custom firmers because those firmers not only they provide a better patch level, they provide more features, and people don't have to tolerate the the model, the business the business models that uh, uh, they they propose. That device should be bought uh, every uh, 
every now and then instead of uh, getting use uh, or using most of it uh, but until the life cycle. So this storage, the storage space limitations, this is our first gambiarra here, is by using the USB port to, you, to, to, place the, to place both the system and, the, and to, to, to share network storage. So when, when we have a few megabytes of storage, we can turn it to, to many gigabytes of storage just by uh, flipping the, the right switches on the, on the USB port. So it's us. If you can use uh, the, uh, an USB device, we can also uh, use swap memory. But this swap memory, uh, it must be reminded that it's much slower than regular RAM. So all software execution will be capped by this availability of RAM. So there, there's no, we, we can avoid, uh, for example, episodes of, uh, of the memory running out, the OOM out of memory, but uh, there's not much beyond that. Either way, uh, this is, uh, such devices, they are cheap, they are easy to find. And if something goes wrong, if you do, if you do stupid stuff, and in, in them, it's not a, a, big, a great loss of money, uh, but uh, it also provides us a cheap laboratory to work, uh, to, to learn more about embedded systems, learn to, how to configure your network, how to increase security and so on. And also people who have, uh, who are, who are good with uh, solder iron, who can see, uh, solder ser serial pins to, to devices. They can uh, have uh, USB ports placed on them and, and all that. So that's not my, my, kind of my, 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 my cup of tea. I'm not so good with uh, solder iron and I'm uh, with the keyboard. So I'm more like a software hacker and harder hackers. That's uh, our good friend, Lucas Teske. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, I still have to send him uh, a, mold, uh, a router to have a USB port that will be a fun thing to do to have the a, a device that has no that, that has low storage that has a USB port just a, a new one so uh, we see here that the, that's the 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 map the network map, map the network plan that will be seen here the device that will be seen the most will be this one that's attached to the to the ISB uh, to the ISP device, uh, it's a fairly good device, but uh, sometimes, but uh, it has uh, both uh, AP. Uh, it has a radio of five gigahertz and two point four four gigahertz, so it's, it's better to use to only use one one frequency. The the, the green arrows you see here, this has communications by me using mesh networking, and the black net the, the black arrows they mo they show the cable and and, and all that. So I'll be showing he, you guys a video here. Just a moment. Where we see this, this device. This device will be seeing how it works on the, how it can access it via SSH and then the Lucy interface. So here I configure it to have the, the web interface to be listening only on local interface. So it won't be accessible using the, 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 the LAN device, the, the, the LAN IP. So here uh, I make this, this tunnel and then I bind the, the, the local, the, this local door to the local door of the device. So I, I'm, I'm using a SSH, SSH, SSH tunnel that allows me to have, to, to have a, a HTTP connection that's uh, functional and, and encrypted without the need to install certificates. So here we'll be seeing, here we see the, the model of the, the, the software that's version 19. It's an outdated, outdated version, but still functional for this kind of soft for this kind of device. Here we see that has a uh, RAM memory. That, sorry, it has swap memory, and also the system has uh, uh, where it had uh, some two, giga, two, two megabytes. It has 1.3 gigabytes of uh, space to to install. Normally, it would be hosted here on this MTD block four that's unmounted. So I I, I simply uh, flipped the, the system to, to the USB device. It also has two network interfaces. It has a mesh point and also has uh, an access point, a regular access point. That's the purple arrows you saw in, in the network map ju just before. And here they are both using same channel and same frequency. That's the 2.4 gigahertz. 
So here we see how to detect if the device is uh, compatible with mesh networking. Uh, it's all, this, this, this particular device, it, it's also compatible with monitor mo mode. So it's good for to use with uh, Wireshark and, all, and, and some more advanced tools like that. Here we see both radios uh, of 2.4 uh, megahertz, gigahertz and then five, the five gigahertz frequency. Now uh, we see how many devices it's connected to in the mesh networking and it shows uh, here that uh, it has uh, the, the uplink that's uh, the, the interface for a VPN and the, 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 the local area network. Those devices, those mesh devices, they're connected there. Here we see the HTTP server listening on the, the local door. This is completely arbitrary. I can, I, I, I can configure it to be accessible uh, by the, the outside, the, the outside uh, IP, but I, 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 chose to, I chose not to do it. The other video, finally. Sorry about that. So here I have to, to open the... I have to open... The, the the address I have to type the same door that I have typed previously on the on the SSH, SSH tunnel. Here we can see the same info that I showed before. This is the the mesh point connected. So here we have the 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 access points and and all that. Notice that the the the, the Wi-Fi specter here around my house it's quite saturated. Uh, it can be complicated. This can in, this can influence the the performance. So you have to you have to be mindful of uh, of that. Now the the switch not the the switch this particular device uh, a friend of mine had given it to me. It ha it, it's not uh, the the one network the, the one port. Sorry, it wasn't working, and it happened that uh, by simply changing the. the another port to, to have the uplink, I was able to fix the device. That's something that we cannot do uh, easily with a, a stock network, with a stock uh, firmware device. Here we see uh, the, the package manager of OWRT that it shows uh, we can uh, search for, for software. We can see if there are any updates and you can see the, the install packages. So they, and so uh, and, and Nginx is not installing there. Uh, this uh, here we have Nmap. Uh, this uh, we, we Nmap can all use to scan the 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 network segment. So here we see that there are three three other devices connected. So the, the these other devices there they were shown on the network map on the network map, and uh, we can see also how the the mesh network is faring. How the the performance. Uh, it needs to running. It's a, it's a 30, uh, 30 megabits uh, per second. That, that, that's a fairly high uh, rate for a, a device that's with such a, such velocity. So the, then we have the ad blocker. Uh, most unfortunately, I chose the wrong video that won't be showing how the, the, the IP is blocked. But if the, the ad block is active, it's connected. It's pretty much out of the box. It's working with uh, DNS mask. So whenever all devices that listen, that use that as DNS provider, they won't be seeing much ads. That this list is configurable, of course, but it it works like that. And finally, a VPN. Uh, that's the in version 19. I was quite I wasn't quite able to to make it run uh, to make it work correctly. So back. To, to the presentation. Uh, ancient devices can also be, uh, <clears throat> they can also use other systems uh, to, to replace the, the, the stock firmware. LibreCMC is basically uh, a Libre, uh, a, free, uh, a free software uh, solution for the Open Liberty. It doesn't accept proprietary drivers, unlike Open Liberty. We, ha we can also have a tomato, gargoyle, DDWT. That depends mostly on the hardware that's compatible or not. Not all hardware can be uh, turned to, to uh, a custom firmware. 
So the good thing is that when we tinker with this, this kind of devices, all this knowledge, they can be used with uh, newer devices. And it's important that we have people that, uh, that are interested in, in this tinkering because hardware and software, they're too far important to be left on the hands of uh, big tech exec executives and the, the guys, the, the minions on the like, regulatory agencies. So we must have free, libre, and open source conceived as a rule and deployed by default. There is no, no uh, just technical justification to have uh, these uh, firmware, these drivers, and, and all that as a closed, closed source. After all, we must think that a system that uh, hard, when you have uh, free hardware and you have free software, everything about the device, it's, it is known except the password. So this is a safe system. That's something, that's a notion that's not uh, invented uh, yesterday. That's something that comes from the times for, of Telegraph and, and, uh, and ma regular mail, paper mail, snail mail, as, uh, as people call it. So it's something that we should be aware of because in every computer network, there is some in pen testing. Who is doing that on your own home network? Uh, our good friend Rodrigo has shown uh, his, his adventures with the, the ISP, the routers. So the, these ISP routers, they should be conceived as a consented intruder. They are, they, they are, they are not supposed to be touching all, 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 uh, all over the, the user networks because, because it's easy to get infected because it's outdated, outdated devices and all these devices and this, all our network, they, our user data, network data, it all flows, flows in and out of those devices. So it's sub subject to, to interceptations, to person in the middle attacks and, and all that. So these essential services such as DNS, DHCP, and Wi-Fi, they should be controlled by the user and away from this, uh, from this router, from this edge device. So pretty much in, a, in a, an architecture like that, these two devices, they could be the same thing. But, or one device or two devices, a PFSense, open liberty, I don't know. That's up, up to the user, up to the to use cases. But the ESP, ISP device, it should be uh, isolated as much as possible because it's not possible to trust uh, the, the stock firmware that comes installed on it. And it's not only this one. Uh, it's pretty much everything. Cars, they're not the, 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 the firmware. It's dumb. Medical cameras, tele whatever. I, you, we all know the drill here. So whenever it's not possible to replace the systems, they should be isolated. And one reflect, one thing that we must keep in mind is that we are talking about a dog with many owners, and we all know that the dogs who have many owners, there is no one to actually feed them. So we have to think: who is responsible for feeding this dog? Uh, it's the the, the users. Uh, the, the users can do it because the, the vendors and the, the ISPs, they won't allow it, but they won't do it e either. So that, that's a, a, a bit of dilemma that we have here. So one thing, uh, the, just to close this subject, uh, there must be privacy and freedom for users when it comes to hardware and software, and there should be transparency and accountability for hardware vendors and service providers because that's sensitive data they are dealing with, and they should be more careful when, when it comes to that. Now, back to the open liberty. I'll be talk, uh, talking a little bit ab about it. Uh, the cool thing here is that this, despite the fact that we can, uh, it can be built from sources, uh, recompiled and all that, but here we'll be using the image builder that's based on uh, stable image, on, on, sorry, on stable versions of open liberty. That's because it's easier to handle the package manager. So the hardware here, we have total control of the hardware. So we can uh, enable Wi-Fi mesh if we want. You can use the USB port as we please. We can configure the LEDs and buttons to, for example, to activate the, the Wi-Fi or deactivate a service or anything like that that we are capable of programming. And now we can uh, add new features to the device, uh, such as VPNs, ad blockers, network storage, and, and all that. The, the, our, uh, the, the limit here is our imagination. But as I, as I mentioned, those are ancient routers. So uh, the version 19 of uh, OpenWRT is more suitable because it uses Linux kernel of, of uh, the version 4. Version 5, it's quite hard to, to, to accommodate all the, 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 the needed software. It comes to line of, line of code in the, in the end of the day. So it says, uh, it's not a system that's backed by any big, to big tech company. Uh, it's free, open source, and, and all that. So it's maintained by the, the, their own community. 
So new devices, uh, sorry, when you install new system in, the, in old devices, the warranty void, the warranty vendor probably is voided already, but you should be always aware that something the, that uh, the warrant goes throughout the window and also there can be hardware failures. But keep in mind that uh, it's all, always possible to unbreak uh, a device that if there is no hardware failures. So the most common causes of breaking this uh, insufficient research and lack of attention. Kids, hear the voice of experience. Do not do this. Uh, do not uh, uh, flash a system on a device if you're sleepy or drunk. It doesn't go well. Because we tend to screw up the partitioning. That's technical error that happens in there. We can access the device uh, throughout some other channel, such as serial, but cannot, the, 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 the boot is screwed up so we can't access the network anymore. Sometimes we can access the device, the network, the, the device via network because it comes uh, bricked by, uh, by, by network, uh, by factory. So the, the vendor sold the device as bricked. It's a, it's a, there's some histories of, of that. And finally, there may be errors, uh, physical errors, uh, bad things happen. If you, uh, so there may be some electricity outage. And another thing, another piece of experience here, uh, always use uh, good quality cables. Do not use crappy uh, USB cables or network cables because there one bit that go, that does not copy it correctly, uh, things can go wrong. So always do your research when it comes to the, to, to these devices because there can be many variations. Uh, the, the, the name of the device is the same, but the version of the hardware is different. It's a different version sold only in China or European Union and, and all that. You should know the difference between the, the version as well. And we also need to be familiar with procedures such as factory reset, uh, th that we can wipe out all the configurations that we made before, uh, uh, after the, the system was installed, uh, to how to activate fail-safe mode and how to use uh, channels, so, uh, other channels such as JTAG or serial and so on. So finally, we have the, the image builder. So, like I said, it's based on stable releases. Uh, we can use uh, we can use OpenWRT and Image Builder on virtual machines, and besides that, we can use another uh, uh, hardware arch architectures. The the, the MIPS is highlighted here because it's uh, the, the, all the devices that I've been dealing with they are TP-Link and all use this architecture. But I have some REM devices. It works. On, uh, Open WRT works on raspberries and, and all that, even though they're Broadcom. Broadcom is problematic because of the drivers, but the, the problem lies somewhere else. So we manipulate the package manifest, and that allows us to install software in a manner that's more efficient than using the package manager. So uh, the, 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 sp the storage space, the initial storage space, it's better put to use so we can squeeze more software in there than using OPKJ. And uh, these devices with the four megabytes of storage, you should be aware that some, some, some software has to be explicitly removed, such as point-to-point uh, -point protocols, IPv6. We can make a, a flavor that has no IPv4, but that's for those crazy looms that, that who knows uh, IPv6 already. I'm not one of them. So we can uh, also remove DNS mask or PKJ and in order to free space for other, for other software. We can have functional USB. Uh, storage working. If we add merely three new packages, I'll be showing an, an, an example of that uh, in, in a moment. And uh, one thing about uh, the libraries, since it's embedded software, it may be hard to uninstall and install softwares. Then might be, that might be more difficult to do than flashing from new. Uh, flashing new. So uh, make sure that the, these libraries that we use as SSL uh, libraries, they are aligned, that we are using the same version. Because uh, OpenWRT has using both of, uh, both SSL uh, as default. And if you are using OpenVPN, that will uh, provide conflict because there is no other version of OpenVPN that uh, doesn't use uh, OpenSSL. So there may be problems later on. And it's also possible to modify files in the in the image so you can uh, make the, the, the image comes ready to, to be using, for example, uh, the segment, uh, uh, an arbitrary network segment instead of using the, the defaults. 
And finally, if the build execution was successful, it will generate a sys upgrade file that should be used uh, to install if Open Liberty is already installed and factory uh, uh, a factory image that should be using when should be used when uh, upgrading from stock. Uh, it's, it should, you should be always aware of it, which image is being installed, uh, otherwise the device might, up, might, might end up bricked. So back to another video. Uh, I'll be showing you how to, a uh, little bit how to use the builder. So here we have the, the image builder that it's it's downloaded from the downloaded from the from the OpenWRT site. Uh, we should extract in a, in a Linux machine that's uh, that uses uh, sorry that uses that's 64 bits that has some some software to be installed uh, previously, mostly with, uh, compilers and Git and, and things like that. So here I'm going to I'm going to be creating uh, a symbolic file, a symbolic link to an, another folder, so we can be used, so we can manipulate the files, uh, the files variable when when building building an image. So here uh, I can choose from any, I can get a configuration file from any uh, of these folders that's available from here. I'll be showing how this ends up on the connect on the the command line. Here we have uh, we type make info so we can see which devices they are they are compatible with uh, with this particular version. Uh, there are a whole bunch of devices. Notice that these devices they're they're, we, they're not found uh, to be downloaded on OpenWRT sites. Uh, even though the system supports them, they have to be built manually, as we'll be seeing here. So here we choose one of these profiles. Here I'll be using the, 20, the this particular device. That's uh, a, a small device that uh, has a very low consumption of, uh, of uh, uh, electricity and also has a USB port. So I, th I, I state the profile, then I say uh, the, where for, where it's, from where it's getting the, the files, these configuration files. And finally, I, I, I give them the, the package list. Notice here that the package list is quite, is quite extensive. It's not all the not all the packages that are installed there. Uh, they are listed here. Those are the full list. Some uh, some there are some more of them. They are pulled by uh, automatically uh, as dependencies. And see here that I've in, uh, that I included uh, the last uh, closer to the to then I, I I included iperf so I can use uh, so I can test performance uh, beer net filter so I can use mesh networking without switch. And here we see the, the these three packages that I mentioned previously. So this device, uh, it's a very slow, uh, it's a four megabyte storage, but it, it will come uh, USB ready. It's, it's just a matter of configuring, and so I can use the, the device automatically. This is the uh, WPAD. It's the the software that's used to hold, to to manage the Wi-Fi. Uh, here I using we are using the mini version, but if if you want to use mesh networking, we should use either uh, both SSL or Open SSL. Both of them they they will give you all mesh network functionalities. It's just a matter of adding it there, uh, adding it sorry adding it here. This this other software uh, SW Config and DNS Mask they they were removed from the they're removed and notice here that I that I that I placed the the dash. Before them, so they are explicitly removed because the uh, if I don't do that, they will be installed. They will be pulled as the, as part of the default. Here, I'm I'm explicitly saying that I don't want them to be installed. Not them, and not on, uh, and also the IPv the IPv6 stack and the PPP the point to point protocol and other things related to to it. So what happened here? Here I got some error that was on purpose uh, to, that I, I typed wrong with this, uh, then to, to show people that command line is not going to bite you. It's just a matter of reading the screen and the, the error will normally notice the emphasis here on normally. Normally it's going to be there. So here it was merely a typo. Uh, I typed, uh, I, I changed from underscore to, to, to the, from dash to underscore and now, now it worked. 
So I'll skip here to this is I won't be showing the, the compilation. If everything went went correctly, uh, it will come to to, the, to this, and it will, it will it will be showing how to show that has no errors here. If there is something that goes wrong, uh, uh, it, will, it will say here. Normally, it's because we add too many packages to to a given image, and it, uh, and then it's. Um, then the the, the, the the firmware image won't be able to 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 handle it. And here we see the the, the since the compilation went correctly, we have the the, the three files here listed on the left. They, this is the the, the, the images that uh, they mean that uh, all, all went well. And we have the package manifest. If you are uh, curious to see uh, which package, uh, which are the, the the full list of packages that were installed. It's listed in there. So coming right to a conclusion, uh, we have we might we should think of uh, we are talking about ancient routers, but we should be thinking about the future. So what future do we have? We must have customized system. You should have self-hosting. That's uh, software and server services that are uh, that are uh, hosted by ourselves instead of handing them to 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 big tech companies. We must have interoperability between uh, the, between services and devices and and system and decentralized networks and all that underscored with hardware that's. Uh, that's both uh, free, libre, and open source. After all, as the feminists say, uh, my body, my rules, the, for the online version of that would be my device, my data, my rules. There should be privacy for the, for the users and transparency and accountability for the vendors. And uh, what should be improved in that? We should have uh, drivers and microcodes that are, that are libre, even if by reverse engineering, uh, the there is, uh, it's only the, the business justifications to, to, to have that. After all, as Linus Torvald says, show me the code, and if you don't show me the code, you can be trusted. We should improve the documentation because there, there's a whole bunch of devices that haven't, haven't been documented yet. And before, and, and also uh, besides documentations, there should be better tooling and better uh, graphic interface since we're, uh, this is something that done by techies for techies, uh, there should we should be worried about uh, developer uh, experience, developer interfaces. It's not everybody who feels comfortable with command line, and, and, and uh, we should uh, there should be more should be more uh, graphical, anyways. Also, when it comes to 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 electronic device, there should be right to repair. Uh, I don't accept for a second the, the justifications of um, of Apple and, and, and other vendors that uh, the, the, the sh the, the, there should be no right to, to, for the users to repair their, the, to repair their hardware or change their software. I, I don't ac I don't accept that the justification. Just buy your mom an iPhone. No, I don't buy it. And there should be much more recycling, and the, the supply chain should be much more sustainable. After all, we, you can you can protect you, you can defend uh, business uh, business plans and business models that are not uh, ecologically sustainable. But you can convince me that, that that's eco friendly, and you, you can try all the greenwash you want. You can you have to pick one. Either you are sustainable or you are driven by uh, programmed obsolescency. And Finally, we sh there should be more communities. Uh, the, the, the communities of users they should be uh, developed. The, the people should be should feel welcome in, in such uh, in such communities. It doesn't matter race or gender or ethnicity or nationality. All the, the, there should be or even knowledge. The, 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 not not everybody know uh, was born knowing it all. So we, we should have to that, that in mind. That uh, we should be spreading more knowledge instead of worrying about uh, about ego. And this device, uh, we are talking about uh, ancient devices, but uh, there are the, the evolution of those devices that that will be uh, multi-core CPUs, LAN gigabyte, and Wi-Fi, uh, a more powerful Wi-Fi and USB three. So these are decent harder parts, and they will be around uh, around a long time because uh, as of uh, 2022, the 
we we, uh, we are having supply supply shortages of processors of boards and, and all that so we should be valuing and extracting more of our, the, the hardware that we have avail available and we don't, we don't need to take it for granted so that's what i had to to, to be presenting thank you all for your time and, and attention i I think I didn't blow up the time since I didn't hear uh, anything. So I'll be opening uh, for questions and answers. So that's about it. And also open the camera as well. Hey, Fernando. Thanks a lot for the great talk. Uh, Thank you guys for the opportunity. I hope you have enjoyed as much as I like giving it. Yeah, we, we have some time for questions. We had some people chatting uh, about in the middle of the talk. I don't know if any of, any one of them want to throw a, a question. Uh, but I like to say I really like the ideals of the centralization that you put forward. Like we, we should self-host things and have access to the source. And and that's it. I I'm fully agree with your ideals there. <laughs> right so, questions. Yeah. I can, we have some time for that. We have like 10 minutes to the next one. So oh, 10 so, minutes? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Camilo. No, okay. Thanks for if, <laughs> oh, say. Uh, I, I'd like to say thanks to Camilo because he heard the first version of it. I think the second version as well, even though he didn't participate in the in the talk afterwards. But uh, thanks for, for your help. Your feedback was quite important. <laughs> nice. And. Uh, but it's fine. Like if we don't have questions, too, we, you can answer them later in the chat, and the, we can we can maybe see the next talk and, and start it. Soon. I can uh, if uh, it really came uh, earlier than, than I thought. I, I can do some some live demo if, if you guys want. Uh, there, there was a, a video that I did, that I didn't go, show, go. That I didn't show. I wasn't aware, of, quite aware of the time because my the clock and my my notebook I <laughs> have been some. It's fine. You like you have. 10 minutes easily to, to do it, so. So, so uh, this is the, the OpenWRT site. Uh, mostly it's in English. Uh, I've been, uh, I've, I have some contribut contributions to translate into Portuguese, and, but the, 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 we need more volunteers to, to translate job for, for, in, for everything. Here we can, can do initial search of the, for, the, for devices that are uh that are supported here we see the, the, all these devices some of them they will appear on the on the uh on the downloads but most of them will not the 19 version it's it has gone out of the of the initial page so it might be hard for people to, to fish them i put the link on the, the end of the presentation it's shown on the, the address there and here we see uh, the generic. It's it's more it's for uh, devices that are the eight megabytes of RAM of, of uh, sorry of storage, and the tiny it's for four megabytes. Notice that here they they didn't produce much uh, much uh, the full the full image. So we need to use the the image builder to 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 squeeze. Uh, other uh, other hardware in there, so that this is the the package we download, uh, and that's the, the manifest that's uh, co contained in the the full images. So uh, that that's not much to it. Uh, uh, I intend to to release some videos to uh, where I show the, the the whole process. That's not a, a, a 44 a 45 minutes. So people who want to 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 learn more, they can they can get stuff from there. And here, uh, I'll be, at, uh, the, I, I thought I, I saw some questions, some, some comments in the, some comments in the, so this one here, it's the, the device that I, the, that I used in presentation, the, it's on the, the, the Lucy interface. Uh, the ad blocker we can see it working here. Google, so it doesn't know the address Google at google.com, but it knows the address Google, so it won't, won't resolve that. That's the, 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 the most fun, fun part 
of ad blockers because if we control the DNS, there, there is no way that the, the external actors, be the service provider or even Google itself, they will tell us which ads we, should, we are supposed to, 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 be, to be seeing. So, and one last thing, I'll, I'll share the screen just so I can show. For people who are not uh, Brazilian native, uh, Portuguese native speakers, so this is uh, a concept of Gambiarra, because here we have uh, two USB, uh, USB ports connected to, to, to the outlet. We have a uh, USB uh, modem. Uh, there is no uh, G GMS chip in here, but the, there is an SD card. So that's, that's how the, the device is, uh, the device uses X root. And here we have uh, serial access to, to the device. Uh, I had a friend of mine solder iron uh, the, the, the serial pins to the to the to the serial port, port. so I can use this uh, this converter, uh, then USB connected to my computer, and we'll be seeing a little bit of. Uh... So here, here we need to use sudo because it's a root process, and then it might seem that there's not much going on here. But here's the here's the. Th I'm gonna reboot the device so I can see. That's the thing that is not visible uh, when you're using from the network because by this time, the network connection will be, dis will be terminated and then we see the, the device running. Here, here we see uh, pretty much like any Linux distribution, but the only difference is that uh, something for embedded devices. And here we see uh, starting to, to, load, to load stuff. And... Uh, we see that it detected the the USB the, the, the USB port, and by now we have already uh, a console port. But notice that the things will it will spe be spitting on the on the screen because that's serial entrance. That's something that we, we are not allowed to see comes to when uh, by using network. So when it happens that we have a brick, uh, the the we think the device is bricked because it's not accessible from the network anymore. Here, uh, it's, you see it's, that took uh, quite, quite some time until it loaded everything. And you can see that it loaded uh, everything correctly because we can see the USB device here. And, but it, and this is the original, uh, the, the 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 original place where the the system is hosted. So when I mount the the this USB uh, as a um, uh, as an overlay, then it will become uh, then it will, will, will become the, the system in itself. Uh, and the, one last thing, just since, since we have time. This is the command that's used to, uh, to, to perform a factory reset. When you use a factory reset, we can use either press the, the button on the, one of the buttons on, on the outside of the router, or we can do this by, oh, sorry, stop for, oh, on channel. So it, will, it says that it will remove every, all settings that have been changed before, uh, after uh, it has been installed and an installed package. So yes, I'm sure. That's another thing that won't be able won't be able to see uh, throughout the network, and it's only be seen on the on the inside here. It takes a, a few seconds. Oh yeah, of course that it's it's clean. So and now I should be rebooting as well. Sorry guys. The reboot you have seen already. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. So if you, any more questions that that you guys have please feel free to uh i didn't get something from the chat but something you said i'd like to double down on you said uh, it's missing translations or something like that and i yes. thought i always see that there's much space for translation and copywriting and documentation and in open source i see that the greatest barrier is that most people that know how to do this they don't know how for example how to interact with github so 
if you if you're listening to this present conference and you have friends that knows how to do this like knows how to translate or how to write text and maybe it's looking for a job or, or do something to do as a hobby this is a really nice place to start because you can help projects that need translations and will help tons of other people with other needs and it also makes you like a curriculum for entering other places like finding a tech job as a writer so i think this is a, a huge field that if you have friends that you can teach how to use github so they can go and, and do this you you'll be doing i think a, a, a really nice public good so that, that will be my the whole <laughs> Indeed, every project, uh, I'm, I'm a Arch Linux user, and, and uh, the Brazilian community is quite, uh, is quite strong. The, 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 the translations, the translation, le both level and quantity, it's uh, all par with uh, the, the English one, but OpenWRT is not this mature. Yeah. There, there, it's a shame because uh, there was much material that was lost when they had a, they have problems with the, their data center or something like that a few years back. And many things that the many previous knowledge uh, from the, the open number T it was lost. Thing is, uh, they were mostly out, out outdated uh, tutorials and all that. But even so, it was nice to see that there was many pages in Portuguese and many pages in Spanish, many pages in Chinese, Russian, and, and all that's not only something that's concentrated in English. But English, uh, like it or not, it's lingua franca. So we we. we, <laughs> we we must know. We must know at least how to how to read it. Yeah, and I think given enough time, all these really great infrastructure projects they they will have documentation and translations. Just we have to give it time to people to adhere it to. And so eventually, <laughs> yeah, eventually <laughs> in the future. Well, thanks a lot for knowing. It was it was a great talk. Uh, if anyone Thank you guys anything in the chat, but that's it. Thanks. And okay, well, thanks. our. Thank you.